Hi everyone, it's Jan from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 12. Today I am going to show you my Lady Ballers look from the Ball Ball. It's just a simple smoky eye and you're gonna get to see me go from this to this. Ah! Jan to see, ooh, she's a Lady Baller. The first thing that I like to do is put on this lovely little headband. Right after that, immediately, because I am blind, I love to do contacts. I love to feel my blue-eyed fantasy or my blue-eyed fantasy. Sorry, I'm just so emotional. Now that the contacts are in and I can see everything, we are going to prime my face. We are going to move on to coverage of the facial hair. I um, actually have a fun story. I am terrible with like an actual razor, so I have to use electric razors. They don't get the closest shave, but um, as an Italian woman, I am very fortunate that I do not get very hairy. But regardless, there are still some things there that we have to conceal, don't feel. I'm also somebody who loves to not sleep. And so what I'll do is I'll take this, there's some pigment under here, under my eyes, and I'll take that same coverage and I'll put it right underneath there. So that when we put on our full coverage foundation, it just looks flawless. I'm going to cover my entire face with this one product and I call it my base. And now you may or may not have noticed that I am wearing a shirt that says 12 on it. What you don't know is that I used to play sports growing up. I played soccer for 13 years of my life and this was actually one of my jerseys that I wore. I always have been drawn to the number 12. It was my favorite number growing up and when I started to do drag, I said, you know what, if I ever wanna do um, RuPaul's Drag Race, I'll try to be on season 12. And so here we are. Now that this base is on, I am going to go in and add some highlight with this white foundation. And I won't bring it out farther than this. I used to cover it and have it go all the way out. I find now that keeping it in the center, it makes my face seem smaller because we're focusing on having the brightest points in the center and the darkest points on the outside. And so I will use this specific beauty sponge to blend all of this out. Like you can see the difference. Blended, not blended. You always, 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 if, if you're going for this look, you wanna blend it out. The next step is going to be contouring and mapping out the face. I'm going to use a darker, more like a chocolate type of contour. And basically I'll just see, do this. I'll put it on the perimeter. We're gonna get this chin out of there, mama. You can always add more when you're doing makeup. You cannot take things away. So now that the contour is all blended out, I am going to go in with the fourth shade. It's in between the white and in between my base, and it's to just give this cheekbone some definition. I will apply it right here and right here, and I am going to blend it out. Now that the contour and highlight is all laid out on my face, I'm going to go back in with the contour and shape out my nose. So I think that if you actually go on the direct physical side of your nose, you actually accentuate it more than you need to. So I kind of like to cut it off right in the middle where it's a little bit on the side, but a little bit on this bridge. So all I'll do is just make this line and I'll go down that lovely path. This takes a minute to kind of figure out. You have to kind of find the right ballpark region of where it's supposed to be. Loving all these sports references today, by the way. And then I cover all of this down here. I always like to say this. If I'm doing a show and somebody notices that the lines on my faces are not, uh, <laughs> faces, Gemini. If people are noticing that a line is not correct or absolutely straight while I'm doing a number, then I'm not doing my job right. I'm going to go back in with the beauty sponge and I'm gonna blend out the outside lines. And this, um, we refer to as the Uncle Fester moment of the entire process. So we are taking all of that dimension that we created away for now. 
And then I'm going to take another powder puff and I'm going to put the whites, basically where we put my white highlight that we use with the cream. And I like to just take off any of the excess on my lips because I don't want them to get crusty. I don't have any filler yet, maybe all stars, we'll see. So I'm going to take that base color. It's kind of like a warm chocolatey type of a color. I'm gonna put it on this brush. I'm gonna flatten it out as much as possible to just get the straightest line. And I bring it out to about where the end of my eye is. So I'm going to take the lightest shade and I'm going to just make little spokes that go like this. And we'll just go boop. See, I can always add on and I can't take away. And you're just trying to make hairs here, so they can go in any which way. I want them to try to look as natural as, you know, they can. I'm going to go in with that base shade again, and I'm just going to start putting them a little bit closer. Now I'm gonna take one of the darker shades and start filling in that area. Y'all see how it's coming together? So now this looks pretty good to me. I will take the third shade, which is not the darkest, but it's one away from being darkest, and I'll create that facade. Now, I like to start at the bottom, and I will bring it up a little bit past that corner part of my eye, and I'll take it like this, bring it up to about the same part, and then I will start to curve that line. And I'll take it out to, not my hairline, but right before it, and just keep it there. I'll go back on the bottom, and I'll attach the two by straightening out that line, just like so. And then once that is done, I will start to go in with the not darkest shade, again, just the third one and fill in the corner parts of this brow. Once I get to where I don't wanna draw little hairs anymore, I'll just start to fill it in. Once the general shape is done, I will go in with the darkest and I'll make little hairs with that. I don't use this too much. We're just trying to add some overall dimension. Now we're gonna go in and just clean it up a little bit just to make sure that it's precise and snatched for all of you. So I'm gonna take a flat brush and all I'm gonna do is take the whites that I put underneath my eyes and go in underneath and clean it up. I'll kind of just blend it downwards. Okay, everybody, now the brows are complete. So we are going to move on to some eyeshadow and get this right together. My biggest trick for eyeshadow is fluffy brushes only. It's so much easier to blend everything out, okay? So I'm going to dip in with this brush and in small motions, I'll kind of pat and lay down all of this shadow. Make sure you have something underneath your eye like this, like when you're baking, to brush any excess away. So all I'm gonna do is take this black and put it underneath this eye ever so slightly. There she is. Okay, for this look, I kind of wanted to keep it um, very neutral tone. I wanted it to be blacks, grays, and whites. I'm gonna take this brush, dip it into a gray shade, and just go over in patting motions. All right, so now that the gray is set, we're gonna go in with the white. Now, I like to take a small detailed brush that's fluffy, it's a little round. Um, doing my YouTube. All right, you guys, so here we go. Oh my God, and this is on YouTube. So funny, I'm a YouTuber, I didn't even know. All right, so we're gonna take this and just put some very pigmented white on there and start to fill it in in this corner. And now the blending gets severe. This is where we start to get any inkling of beauty. Yes. See her? Smoked. Smoked salmon, doll. Yes. I literally just put this here on accident, and that's fine, because we can go back in and we can reinforce all of those colors a little bit later. That's the beauty. I'll take the gray, the transition shade, and I'll just pat that in and see how it's going back on. 
Lovely, y'all. What we're gonna do is take this little brush and dip it into a little bit of translucent powder and just blur it out. Take it from the edges and just swipe, 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 swipe. Now, that's basically this eye. If you don't want to go any further and you think that that's good, this is basically that eye with all of the shadow done and mapped out. We're going to put a little bit of black in the waterline. I take a small little flat brush. Okay, so once that's there, all I'm going to do is flick this away. So I'll just take more powder and put it back under. All right, everybody. So now we're going to move on to eyeliner. It's not a big wing. It's kind of just a little roadmap. So basically I'll start over here. I'll make a little line that goes up there and then I'll start back in from the inside. Then a trick to drying this is taking that same brush that we just used for our waterline and just patting it over. Now we're moving on to what I think is the most transformative part about the entire makeup process, which is painting my La Crease Royale. I start from the inside and then work my way to the outside. Now I'm gonna go back in and just fill in everything down here. It brings all the light back into your eye and brings the focus onto everything that you just did. So, I mean, you know, we're gonna take this brush again, dip into the translucent, and we're going to go over all of that with this. Take this brush that we used for the black, reinforce that out here, and put it in the outer third of my crease. Now it's coming together, doll. Like, yes, of course, I'm trying to look like a lady baller, but also I'm trying to look like I'm going to the Jersey Garden Small. As you know, I'm from New Jersey. We take deep pride in many things. Our beaches, Wawa, but we also take pride in our malls. I'm gonna take a silver and I'm gonna put that on the middle part of my eye. I will take a different fluffy brush than what we've used and this is what I like to call my shimmer brush. I'm going to take um, a little bit of setting spray. I'm going to spray the brush, dip it into the shimmery shadow and then I'm just going to apply that in the middle of this crease, right above my actual eyeball. And when you're doing this, you do want to stay inside the lines that you created of your crease. I am going to dip in to a lovely white sparkly shade. And we're going to just do the same thing. We're going to spray this and then we're going to apply it right here. Now the Lacrease Royale is done. All we're going to do is go back in with the eyeliner and we're gonna just redefine that line that we basically took away with all of the pigment. I know someone in the comments is gonna say, well, why even do the eyeliner in the first place? I don't know. I don't have the answer for you, babe. But this is just my process. I just literally tried to close my mouth to do this and I can't, I just can't do it. <laughs> it's like my tongue's out too. How heinous. <laughs> Then once we paint that, we're just gonna take the black eyeshadow and just reinforce what we just did. And then one more time. Oh my God! <laughs> the eyeliner fell out! So when that happens, <laughs> all you're gonna do is take the black eye uh, shadow and just do what you would do with the liner. Now we're going to do a very important step to making the eyes look bigger and bolder. We will take our excess powder away because it involves the underside. We are going to add a white pigment into the inner corner of the under eye. It just lightens everything up and it brings focus to all of the eye. We're gonna use like an angled flat brush and we're gonna take a little bit of white pigment. I go to the inside and I just create a small line. All right, so now that that's done, we can add some dimension back to the face with some powders. What I do first is I add my darkest contour and I put that and concentrate it on the outermost parts of my face. In the temple areas up here, I go in underneath the cheekbone right over here. Then I go underneath the chin and I'll go along the nose. So once all of that contour is on, then we get to bronze the face and give it some light. I will go back in 
right underneath those spots that I just contoured on my forehead and right above the spots on my cheeks and just add some warmth back to the face. And then I'll take the bronzer and I'll do the same thing down the side of my nose. We are going to move on to blush. I literally will do like, boop. I've had this for two and a half years. Smile. <laughs> and then just tap. That's all. I'll basically take this brush that is flat, it is angled. I will dip into three highlight shades and I'll take this and I will dab it all in that highlight region that we have built. See how much that evens out this entire side over here? I will put some on the forehead over here and I'll go right underneath that cheek. Okay, now I'll go underneath here and just highlight the bridge of that nose. And I like to do the same thing on the sides. Now this is what's going to give it that surgery look. See, it just kind of snatches everything in. Sports played a very big part of my life, and so I thought that this would be really, really fun for you to get to know me a little more and see what it's all about. We're gonna go in and add some highlight. When I'm on stage, I want my cheek to be visible from the back of the house, and so I like to do that with setting spray. So basically what I'll do is I'll spray this all over my face, and I'll dip into the first shade and I will go right on the tip of my nose. I'm gonna take this brush, I'm going to dip it ever so slightly into my highlight powder. Right above where I put my bronzer and my blush, I'm going to tap it into the skin. And then I'll use another shadow and I'll just add it on top to give it some layers and dimension. Oh, how gorgeous. I will go back in with my bronzer and I will tighten up any of the edges. So basically I'll just do this and blend it into my skin. This is like an iridescent glitter that I just like to put right over the top to give it that extra shine. Alrighty y'all, so now we are going to learn about my world famous brown lip. Now I get hate for this all the time because I do a very similar lip a lot and I think that it just goes with every single eye color that you can possibly think of or imagine. So I'm so sorry for any of you who don't wanna see me do this, but we're gonna do it right here, right now. Taking this, I make it into a lovely little heart shape. And then once we start to get to the nostril, we'll start to curl it down. Now, I don't have an upper lip, and so overdrawing is essential for me. Now we're going to move on to a liquid lip and fill in that lip. I love this lip because I feel like it's very 90s. It goes with everything. It's flattering and it's different. So now before, this dries, I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm gonna blend all of it out. I'll take my pencil. So now we're going to go in with a cream lipstick. And again, just blending it out. Now that those three are on, we're going to top it off with some gloss. I know a lot of queens don't like to use gloss because it gets caught in their hair. It gets caught in my hair, but it doesn't bother me. So there she is. All we have to do is add some mascara and put on lashes and then we're done. Time for the lashes where everything comes together. I'm going to use a little bit of hair bond. And then I place it normally on my line on the inside, and then I build it up on the outside. All right, everybody, so the face is done. I'm gonna go throw on my look, and I'll be right back. Bam, everybody, this is my Lady Ballers look from the Ball Ball. I'm so excited that I got to do this look today. I love it so much because it represents a very significant part of my childhood. This look is amazing because all of these little patches are hand sewn and created by this amazing designer named Abraham in New York City. Thank you so much for watching my video today and I hope to see you on the road sometime soon. Bye.
Do you want everything RuPaul's Drag Race at your fingertips? Then head over to YouTube now and subscribe to the RuPaul's Drag Race channel and you will get all the episodes of everything you ever want, including brand new episodes of What You Packin'. Hi.